surfing. There's nothing like it in the whole world. To have this awesome wave hanging over your head like some giant monster while you're shooting down its side. To hear it roaring and crashing just a few feet behind you. And to hold your own against all that power with just your speed, agility, and reflexes. Yeah, there's no experience like it in the world. And there's no place to experience it like Hawaii. Now, don't get me wrong. Malibu, Huntington, Rincon, they're all good spots. In fact, we surf there lots of times. But for me, and Joe, and Chemo, it was time to get down to some serious, heavy-duty surfing. And that meant only one thing, the North Shore of Oahu. You got bucks? I got bucks. I, I can always sell my car. What about you? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Come on. <laughs> well. Come on. Hawaii. Man. I, I, I could probably handle it. All right. Well, I'm getting I, stoked, man, just thinking about yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be like living in paradise. <laughs> Big waves every day. Man. Beautiful beaches. Right. Beautiful chicks. Let's go for it, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It didn't take too awfully long for us to figure out that the Hawaiian waves were just a little bit different than what we were used to. All right. We must have been out there eight or ten hours straight those first few days. And it was later that first week when we met Jerry. You guys new around here? Yeah, we kind of just arrived. What do you think of our waves? <laughs> Pretty awesome, man. <laughs> My name's Jerry. Jerry, how you doing? This is Kimo, Joe, Rick. Come on, leave me alone. What do you mean, leave me alone? What do you mean, leave me alone? You took off on my wave on that last one. Take it easy. <laughs> Look what happened to my board and that wave just dropped in on me, man. I feel like knocking your head in. Take it easy, man. Take it easy? If you take off on my wave again, I'm gonna bust your face. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Now look at this board. That's Truck Simmons over there, isn't it? That's Truck Simmons, all right. He's national champ. Yeah, I know. That guy's everywhere, man. He takes his surfing pretty seriously. No kidding. So you guys got a place yet? Yeah, we got a place down at Rocky Point, right on the water, man. If I don't get a job soon, though, no, I'm going to have to bail out. Really? Yeah. Hey, listen. We need some help at the place where I work. We need another guy to help shape boards. You interested? Are you kidding? It's only three days a week, but the pay's pretty good. Hey, man. That way I can surf the rest of the week. We're located right in front of Pipeline. All right, I'll find it. Sounds great. Hey, thanks a lot, Jerry. Good, tomorrow, 9 o'clock. You got it, man. All right. Later. Take care. I was stoked, man. 
things couldn't be better. A new place, a new job, plenty of time to surf. And I couldn't ask for a better guy to work with. Seemed like he was always helping out, you know? Like covering for me if I wasn't quite on time, that sort of thing. I'm sorry I'm late again. That's all right, Rick. I don't mind doing your work. That's <laughs> all right. You can start on the board up there. Oh, wow. Oh, not that one. It's wet. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's all right. Don't worry about it. There was something different about the guy, all right. And after a week or so, I finally decided to find out what it was. You always pray before you eat? Usually. And there's something different about you, man. Different? Yeah, I don't know. You just... You're different from the other guys around here, that's for sure. Is that good or bad? No, it's good, it's good. You know, it's just, just something I've noticed the last couple of weeks, that's all. Well, if there's something different about me, it's probably because of a very special person in my life. Well, your woman, huh? No. Well, she's real special, but not her. But you got a chick on the side, Jerry? No. What is it? So you got some guy who's dealing some pretty good stuff, right? Yeah, in a way. And I knew it, man. That's why you're so mellow all the time. That's why you never get mad, right? No, it's Jesus. Jesus? You mean Sunday school Jesus? He's changed my life. Jesus has got the power to transform lives. Trey, let me tell you something about Jesus. I mean, to me, the guy's just another guru, man. I mean, I got into that whole guru scene a couple years back. I mean, meditation every day, the whole shot. Burned me out, man. Led me nowhere. I mean, you know, it's okay for you, man, but it might not last, man. For me now, all I really care about is surfing, dude. Surfing. And uh, I also care about my job, and I think I better get back and finish those boards. Uh, Rick, before you go, I want to say just one thing. You know, Jesus never claimed to be one of many equally good ways. He said he was the way. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And that separates him from all those other guys. See, those other guys, they were just men. If you were to go out there and dig up their graves, you'd find their bones. But Jesus resurrected himself as God the Son. And that separates him from all those other guys for all time. Yeah, well, maybe so, you know, but uh, I mean, it's something to think about. Well, you think about it. Yeah, I gotta get back. You, a good credit risk? Yeah, that's what he said. Because <laughs> I got that job shaping boards. All right. This baby's only got 30,000 on it, man. Not bad, huh? Not That's bad. great. <laughs> hey, what's happening, man? Hey, you got my board. Brand spanking new, just like you ordered it, dude. Totally insane. I can't wait to try this out. Check it out, Larry. Hey, you going to the party tonight? For sure, man. I'll totally be there. All right. Is he always like that? Talk about a cosmic ranger, man. That guy is totally spaced. <laughs> <laughs> see you at 7.30, we'll all see. right? Oh, somebody <laughs> hold <me> back. <laughs> Mama, yeah. <laughs> Always a guy out buying the brew. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Oh, Rick. Hey, hey what's going on? How you doing? Man? I didn't see you guys there. Yeah, hey, what's you happening? Hey, did you really read that? Yeah, it's a great book. You ought to check it out sometime. You know, it's unreal how much God loves us. He really cares. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna go get my wife. We're going to a Bible study tonight. You guys want to go? Uh, no, we're going to a party. Yeah, party time. Okay, well, take care. See yeah. you around. Hey, Jerry. 
Hey, praise the Lord, man. <laughs> I've never met an Alma before. <laughs> well, I've met lots of Ricks. Really? Uh-huh. Were they as cute as me? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to get together sometime? Yeah. Where can I get in touch with you? Uh, well, I can give you my phone number. Great. Oh, great. Father, we just would like to pray for Rick tonight, Lord, and, and ask, Lord, that you would, by the power of your spirit, Father, just convict him of his sin and just show him the error of his way, Lord, and we pray that you would just draw him into your flock, Father. For such a skinny guy, man, I think you eat more than Pac-Man, Kimo. <laughs> hey, hey, Rick! <laughs> hey, Ricky boy, guess what I just heard, man? <laughs> what? 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 Tell me. Tell me. What? All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> and they're praying, man. They're praying over at that Bible study. So they're praying in a Bible study. Yeah, I know that, man. I know that, but, but they're praying for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're praying for you. Huh. You're putting me on. No, man, I heard, man. They said, Lord, Lord, bring Rick back. Bring him home, Lord. Bring him back. Turn him from his evil ways, Lord. Bring back that wandering boy, Lord. Bring that him. does it, man. I'm going over there. Hey, where you, you guys going, coming? Man? Let's go. Hey, man, where are you going, man? Hey, Rick. Rick. How'd you like that? Not bad, huh? Catchy tune. <laughs> Say, I got a question for you. Um, I heard that you Christians don't believe in sex. Is that true? <laughs> I'll, I'll answer your question, but I'd like to tell you something first. Tonight, you know, you're proof that there's a God to us and that he answers prayer. We prayed for you earlier tonight, and here you are. Maybe not in the condition that we'd like to see you in, but at least you're here. I guess so. <laughs> Rick, I might be able to shed some light on your question about sex. Well, God was the one who created sex, so obviously he thinks it's a beautiful thing, right? If I was the one that made this watch, you would probably agree that I was the person who could best tell you how to operate it, right? Well, God created our bodies, and they're a million times more complex than this watch. And he says that for sex to be at its best, it should be enjoyed within the framework of a marriage, where one person is totally committed to another person. Oh, come on, you people. You can't be serious. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> I had my full of Bible school. Wow. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Rick. Give me five. Rick, you 
Say, you seen Jerry? He's not here. He's probably down surfing. Of course, the next morning, I wasn't feeling all that proud about what had happened. It's not like I bought any of that religious stuff or anything. But I figured, you know, they probably meant well. And besides, I'd have to work with Jerry the rest of the day, and I'd just as soon he wasn't too steamed. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Rick. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. Listen, man, I I'm sorry about last night. You know, I didn't mean to. Last night? That's OK. I could tell you had a buzz on. It's all right. You sure? No big deal. Hey, listen, how you doing? Hey, you look like you got a hangover. You all right? Yeah, I'll work it off. <laughs> yeah, hello, Alma. This is Rick. Alma? Alma? Hello? Uh, yeah. Uh, Rick. Uh, Rick. Uh, uh I'm just, just trying to figure out uh, who you were. Uh, uh, weren't you that cute little uh, pudgy guy with the, the cute smile? <laughs> uh, not exactly. I was the, the hunchback who rings bells for a living. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. So, uh, would you, would you like to get together, you know, soon? I'll tell you, I'm pretty busy right now, um, but I, I think we could arrange something. Aren't you a surfer? Yeah, I, I love to surf, yeah. Really? Well, can I watch sometime? Sure, um, that's, you just want to watch? Well, yeah. Is that OK? Sure. How about if I see you at 1030, Saturday? so beautiful. This is it, isn't it, man? <laughs> this is totally it. I mean, all I really need are some tasty waves, <laughs> some cool brew, <laughs> and I'm fine. <laughs>
we still kept hitting those waves every morning, just like clockwork. First, we didn't pay much attention to this older dude who was starting to hang around the beach. Hey, do you know who that is? Uh-uh. I think that's Duke Kaikami. Really? Man, that guy's a legend. He used to beat everybody. And the stories they tell about him, awesome. Why is he watching us? Us? He's not watching me, man. That's for sure. Excuse me. Aren't you Duke Kaikami? You'll never be any good until you stop playing it safe. You gotta learn to go for broke. Take risks. You wanna be good? I mean really good. Yeah? Like national champion. Me? Yeah, you. You wanna bad enough, I mean bad enough so that it hurts inside? I don't know, I guess so. Yeah. Well, when you decide, when you decide you want to work, then let me know, OK? Hey, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm ready. I'm ready right now. Right now, you look terrible. You look like some kind of kook out there. Here's what we got to do, come on. Oh, man, I don't believe this. There's something really special about you. I really like you. I really like you too. What do you do in the next 70 years? Nothing special. Will you marry me? was everything we could have hoped for. Outdoors, surrounded by a beautiful park, just a few of our close friends and relatives. Well, maybe Alma put it best when she said it was everything she'd ever dreamed it would be. Hey, dude, what's up? What's up? You were supposed to be at the beach at 6 o'clock this morning. Now, what's gotten into you? I got married. You what? I got married. Are you kidding me? Hey, I got married, man. 
A girl. A girl, that's all you need right now. It's ruined more good servers, six weeks away from the nationals, and right now you don't stand a chance. You could work like you never worked before, and you still don't have a chance. I could try. Try nothing. You should be so stoked on serving that that's the only thing in your life. No wife, no friends, no nothing. Just surfing, don't you understand? Just give me time to think it over. Think about it, but decide right now. Alma, I'll be back later. I was feeling pretty lousy about leaving Alma. But I knew Duke was right. To be ready in six weeks, I'd have to eat, drink, and sleep surfing. But no matter how hard I tried, my heart just wasn't in it. At least not that day. To you. Alma, I need to talk to you. Stay here for a minute, will ya? Alma, I love you. You don't and... love me. You care more about surfing than you do about me. I should have known it was gonna be like this. Alma, that's not true. Look, I just, I just want to try to be the best surfer around. Is there anything wrong with that? I need you to be the best. I need your help. Now we were a team, the three of us. And with Alma at my side, I knew that nothing could stand in my way. They were six of the toughest weeks of my life, but we both knew it was the only way I'd stand a chance. So we continued to work and sweat and cry, but this time, together.
but there was another battle going on, one we weren't even aware of. Seems Jerry and Diane had taken it upon themselves to pray for us, praying that we'd begin to understand what they'd been talking about. And that you would bring them into fellowship with yourself. I thought you said you could beat anybody. And then there was I Truck Simmons, anybody. the current champ. Well, I know this guy. The guy wanted to keep his title so bad he'd kill for it. Nobody's as good as And when he heard you. Duke was my trainer, well, the guy Duke's was out for blood. You. Duke? Who is this guy? Hello? Hi. Yeah, hold on. Honey, it's Jerry. Jerry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, tomorrow's a big day. Hey, I really appreciate that. Yeah. All right, thanks. Yeah, take care. Bye. Hmm. You know, those Christians aren't so bad. At least Jerry and Diane, they seem to really care about people. I kind of like the way Jerry talks about Jesus, too. <laughs> Jerry and Jesus. Seems like it'd been years since we had that first talk. But now, now everything had to be focused. My mind, my body, all those weeks of training. If everything went right, then I might stand a chance. But with the tiniest slip up, it would all be wasted. All those months of work and discipline, they'd all be for nothing. You nervous about tomorrow? I don't know. I, I need to be alone, you know? I can take a walk or something. I'll catch you in a while. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the world-famous North Shore of Oahu. We're here today for the U.S. Surfing Championship. Could you tell us a little about the North Shore, particularly why they call it the pipeline? Well, sure, Bob. Basically, what we have here are waves coming out of very deep water with no continental shelf to slow them down. So you have all these tons of water exploding over a very shallow reef. This makes the waves so thick, so massive, that they throw out yards from the trough and create a huge tube, or, if you will, pipe. That's hollow inside. Exactly. In fact, they say sometimes the tubes are so huge, you can drive a Mack truck through them. <laughs> really? And powerful. Extremely powerful and treacherous. Imagine an 8, 10, 13-foot wave exploding with all that energy into what at times is only knee-deep water with a razor-sharp coral for a bottom. Mm. Well, you can imagine the dangers. Lots of injuries? Yeah, I'm afraid so. And sometimes even death. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're now in the final moments of the U.S. Open. Joe, can you tell us what the point spread looks like? I would say the point spread right now, Bob, looks like it's dead even between current U.S. champ Truck Simmons and the young upstart Rick Irons. These next few moments are definitely going to determine who's going to win the U.S. Open. And on the outside, Truck's moving into position for a big one. 
beautiful wave. Look at that. It's going to be one of the largest mm. waves of the contest. Beautiful positioning. He's dropping in, going down the face. Look at this lip, Joe. Oh, it's got to be Truck's final wave of the contest. Beautiful. Look at him drop in. The lip's throwing out over him. Look at the shadow, the size of that lip, the thickness. Unbelievable, Incredible. Joe. Incredible. He's so deep, though. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it out of there, Bob. Look at that. He's buried so far back. He oh, may not be my gosh. Uh, Truck's wiped out. I can't believe it. Truck's wiped out. Bob, the disappointment. Truck Simmons wiped out. A tough break for the champ. And on such a perfect wave. On the outside, Joe, Rick Irons. This wave looks like it could be even bigger than trucks. What phenomenal luck. Look at the size of that wave. I can't believe it. A second set wave with shape like that? Mm. Uh, Bob, that's incredible. Just unbelievable. It's jacking up over the reef. Terrific positioning for Rick. He's dropping in on the wave. Now he's doing his phenomenal body turn. Wave, Joe. Just phenomenal. And look at his position. It looks to me like he's in nearly perfect position. Uh, the lips beginning to curl up over him as he pulls into the tube. Uh, you're right, Bob. He's in much better position than Truck was in that last wave. It's throwing out over him. He's in the Tube. Look at that. Unbelievable. Look at the size of that lip. It's got to be the biggest wave of the day. What a ride. Just beautiful ride. Beautiful. He's coming out onto the shoulder. The hiss is throwing out over his back. I've, I've never seen anything like it, Joe. Uh, it looks like he's got the contest sewn up. Ricky Iron. Look at the excitement. Unbelievable. Look at that confidence. Look at the exuberance. He knows he's won it. Ricky Irons. What an upset. Ladies and gentlemen, new U.S. champ, Rick Irons. Rick Irons, national champ. It was like my wildest dream come true. Suddenly, I had more friends than I knew what to do with. Surf shops catered to me. Everyone wanted to be around me. But inside, there was still this this dull ache. I mean, I had everything I ever wanted, everything I'd ever dreamed of, but inside, I don't know, I, I was still empty. I may have been national champ on the outside, but inside, I was a zero. And nothing seemed to help, not the fame, not the popularity, not even the dope I found myself getting more and more involved with. Alma was the first to notice. And as the days turned to weeks, then to months, we found ourselves drifting further and further apart. It was as if nothing mattered anymore. Nothing had any meaning. yourself. I'm not this, or I'm not that. I'm not happy. Why don't you think about somebody else for a change? I think about you. No, you don't. Our marriage has been going downhill for a long time, and you know it. If you really cared about me, you'd ask me how I felt about things once in a while. You don't care about me at all. All you do is sit around and get loaded all day. Yeah. Yeah, Ernie. 
Yeah, what's happening? Do I want to get high? Yeah. Is it the real thing? Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, I'll be over in a minute. Later. Drink this. You need it more than I do. Thank you. <sighs> oh, yeah. Rick. It's over. What do you mean it's over? Our relationship, it's over. I just can't live with you anymore. What are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? <sighs> Look, I think it'll be a good idea if we separate for a while until we can decide on something more permanent. Something more permanent? Alma, I love you. You don't love me. Rick, you don't know what love is. You never talk to me. You don't share with me. You never come home to me. All you care about is surfing and your drugs. I don't feel like I'm married. I feel like I'm all alone. I can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. What's up? You got some time? Can I talk to you? Yeah, sure. Come on in.
Sure, have a seat. Thanks. Yeah, bring us a couple cups. So, what's going on? I'm on empty, man. I just don't understand what's happening. Alma and I, all we do is fight. She's gonna split, I can't blame her. All I wanna do is just sit around and get high and everything, man. I don't know what's happening, I've lost total control. Well, what uh, would you like to do? Well, you know, I, I noticed that you and uh, you and Diane, you know, you guys got it pretty much together, you know, and I think it has something to do with Jesus, you know. And I was just wondering if you could tell me more, you know, about Jesus. Well. Sure. See, Jesus, throughout the Bible, he gave us a blueprint for our lives. He gave us a way for us to live more meaningful lives, you know, with ourselves, with, with others, with our wives. But originally, God created us to be in fellowship with himself. But most of us have shined him on. You know, we've wanted to do our own thing. We say, God, you go your way and I'll go mine. Right? Yeah, I guess so. But because he loves us so much, he sent Jesus, his son, to take the punishment for the things that we've done wrong as a result of doing our own thing. Let me read to you here from, uh, from the Bible, from the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. See, if we accept the forgiveness that God offers us, we can come into a right relationship with him. And then we can experience the joy and the, the purpose in life that he wants us to have. That's what I need. Do you think we can talk to God right now? Yeah. Yeah, we can talk to him anytime. Will he listen now, Jerry? Yeah. Yeah, he's listening right now. I've never done this before. Can you help me out? Oh, sure, Rick. You know, you've, you've been on our hearts for a long time. I'll pray, and you just pray along with me, okay? Lord, Lord, thank you for sending your son to die in my place on the cross. Thank you for sending your son to die in my place on the cross. To take the punishment for the things that I've done wrong. To take the punishment for the things that I've done wrong. I thank you that he's alive right now. I thank you that you're alive right now. And I ask you to come into my heart right now I ask you to come into my heart right now and take complete control of my life and take complete control of my life thank you for coming in as you promised Lord thank you for coming in as you promised Lord in Jesus name we pray Amen. in Jesus name I pray be in Christ. He is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new.
morning, babe. About some breakfast in bed. Are you all right? What has happened to you? I've changed. Well, I noticed. You know, you were right. I wasn't worth living with. I went over to Jerry's last night. Yeah. Oh, well, we started talking and, uh, you know, he told me that he's been praying for me for a long time. And, uh, well, I just told him what's been wrong with us. You did, did you? Hey, not you. It's me. I've been the problem all along, Alma. But it's different now. I've changed. I mean, I mean, last night I prayed. And I became a Christian. And you know, God forgave me. I know he did. I feel clean deep down inside. Will you forgive me, too? Yeah. I'll forgive you, Rick. But I don't know about us. Can we thank God for the breakfast? You cooked it for once. You thank him. Oh, uh, God, I... I just want to thank you for this food and for what's happening to me and for my wife. I, I, I ask that you help her to understand. And uh, your name, God, Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Alma had every reason in the world to leave me. I knew that. It's just... I wanted so badly to show her that I changed, to prove to her that it was all real. But as much as I wanted to stick around and convince her, I knew she had to work this one out on her own. I knew it was best to give her some space and hope that somehow God would do the convincing. It was a long shot, but it was all I had. Just keep praying for her, that's important. And show Jesus to her through the love and the time that you spend with her. Just show her that you care and trust God. It'll take a miracle for sure. Rick, a lot less of a miracle than it took for you. Yeah. Right? OK. Diane, I've decided to leave Rick. No. No. I've made up my mind. Um, listen, what are you up to right now? Do you think I could come over and talk to you? Later on, Joe and Kima wanted to hit the waves. It was the first time I'd been out on a board in weeks. And believe me, man, it felt great, like I was flying, like I could do no wrong. But always, always in the back of my mind, there was Alma. I've done everything that they thought was right to do, and none of it's working. We, uh, I don't know. I mean, just like Rick said, you know, here we are in paradise. We've, he's won the championship. We got married. We have a nice house. And I want to leave. I, I. Diane's house. 
Diane? Mm-hmm. Jerry's Diane? We had a real good talk. And, uh... Well, you know what happened to you? Yeah? The same thing happened to me. What? I asked Jesus into my heart. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Rick and Alma's new life began with this joyful new beginning. And with this new beginning came new ways of living. I know and I can testify of Jesus' faithful work in their life because I'm Rick Irons. And here on the North Shore, Alma and Shannon and Ricky and I have experienced the faithfulness of Jesus Christ in our lives. And just as the characters of uh, Diane and Jerry reached into our lives, we've been able to reach into other people's life with the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And there's been many people who scoffed at us, and there's been others who said, there's no way it's gonna last. But the truth is that the Bible tells me that he who has the Son has the life, and he who does not have the Son of God has not the life. As you watch this film, you either know the Son of God or you don't know him. He loves you just like he loved me and my wife and my children, and he wants to come into your life. As Jerry told Rick in the movie, it's up to you, what do you want to do? Jesus was after me to come in and to give me joy. I hope that you invite him to come in, that you might know the joy and peace in believing in the Son of God.